So today I'm going to be replacing the coolant reservoir and the inlet hose on a 2014 Chevy Cruze 1.4. So the inlet hose is this one right here. So it runs from the coolant reservoir, which I'm going to re be replacing down here to this joint here, which is where the coolant has been leaking, as you can see there. So there's a joint there that's really just clamped on with that, uh, this little wire here, this wire clamp. So I'm going to replace this hose and then uh, we're going to see if that leaking stops. First things first, let's disconnect the battery. Alright, so now that I disconnected the battery, I have it slid forward, so that's another reason, besides safety, uh, in order to get that reservoir out, it's important to be able to take the battery out. It just makes it easier, because you're going to have to slide it forward. So the next step is to take this clip off of here, off of the front of the reservoir. It's keeping it held on. So sometimes it helps to use a screwdriver. What you're looking for here, uh, that's where the clip came off. And right back there you see that little plastic tab. That needs to slide forward. So this whole reservoir needs to slide forward towards the battery. So we'll do that and then we'll start disconnecting lines. Alright, so it's important to note also, uh, besides the, where the plastic clip slides in right there, there's also a plastic clip at the bottom. So right there at the bottom, this little plastic clip s drops into that hole and slides back, so you'll also have to release that to get the canister out. Alright, so next I'll take the tubes off and we'll start replacing stuff. Uh, it's important to note though, since uh, you are removing the cap or one of the tubes or anything like that off of the coolant reservoir, um, it tells you right here that the contents are under pressure. So make sure that when you're replacing this that you're doing it on a cold car and not after you've just recently driven it. Uh, because you might get a nasty surprise. Alright, so I now have the reservoir in a plastic bag just to catch all of the uh, coolant that's probably going to come out. Um, if you have like a little plastic container that you don't mind throwing away or reusing for car stuff, it's a good idea too to use that to catch stuff. So before I take off those hoses, what I'm going to do is drain all of the antifreeze that's in the old reservoir out. That way I don't accidentally make a mess when I take the tubes off. So just empty as much as you can out and you won't have as much spewing out when you take the tubes off. All right, so I'm gonna take the top hose off now.
and now I'm going to take off the, the exit hose off the bottom. Alright, so here's your old reservoir. So this is where your inlet tube is going to go. This is where the exit tube is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace this and put the new inlet tube on. But first we're going to take the inlet tube off of its other connection right down there. Alright, so let's get the other end of the inlet hose off. So what you're going to do is you're going to find this little wire little wire clamp and just pull that off. So you may need pliers or a screwdriver. You can just stick a screwdriver in there and pop it off. And it's just a little U-shaped clamp like that. So set that aside because your new tube likely doesn't come with that. And then you're just going to pop it straight up. So this is the tube here. Um, this is the part that connects to the reservoir. This is the part that attaches down there. Alright, so in order to get this piece off, so your new tube doesn't come with this piece, so you're going to need to um, pry in between where this little ring is around the side and pop that out. So you pry off on that side, pry off on this side, and that just pops right out. So you can see here this is the new tube and this is the old one that should have that big piece rising up in the center there so this piece here breaks off um, is usually the part that breaks on this tube and that's why you get the the antifreeze leaking out so um, I'm gonna get what's left of this outside of the old piece that I just took off and then we can put this new one in there so I was able to fish it out. I just used a screwdriver and the O-ring and this piece were still in there. So this is what it should look like, but this was inside of it still because it broke off. So now we can use this piece again, so don't throw it away. Um, and we'll use this with the new hose. All right, so we got this piece all cleaned out. Nothing inside of it now. So we can take this end and we take our new part and just push it up in there and it snaps right into place. You just make sure you have all the way around you got that tab here underneath under this lip so it's nice and sturdy in there and then we can just drop that right back into place down there on the connection down there which I will focus on now. So we'll drop this head right in there nice tight connection and then we're gonna stick this clip in there right through that groove alright so I had a little trouble with putting the wire clip back on um, and I ended up losing it underneath the car so I'm just gonna move on I clamped some wire um, ran some wire through there uh, that's about the thickness of the clamp and it's holding it on there right now but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace all the rest of the parts so next up is the coolant reservoir so you're just gonna take your uh, take your new hose and take the old clamp off the old hose and then you can go ahead and slide the tube in there. So we got that clamped on there. Now we'll hook up the lower exit hose. So we'll go ahead and slide that on. And then slide the clamp up. So now we have both tubes on there. So 
now we can slide the container back in place. Find that notch at the bottom here. Place it into there. Alright, so that's all slid in there. And then we can take our clip. Clip that back on there. And we should be good to go. So now all that's left is to put the new cap on the reservoir and find that tab to hold that on there but once you have those on there you can fill it back up with antifreeze remember use Dexos and then you can hook the battery back up and see if it leaks alright there you go that's how you replace the inlet hose on a 2014 Chevy Cruze. I hope you found this video helpful and 